Hello, Shin. Hi, Tom. Where are we? We're at the Fireside Gathering. Oh, legendary! Look, there's a giant hearthstone. You can't really see that. It's very dark in here because cuz of the catacombs and the kobolds. It's all in shadow there, Shin. You have to move. You have to move. There you I go. You've, you've, you've ruined it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to experience a fireside gathering with uh, some of the best Hearthstone players in the world. Um, and Shin's going to be there as well. Um, and we're also going to get a chance to talk to uh, some of the developers from Team 5. Yeah. So Peter Whalen, the, the mastermind behind Dream Quest and Dream Quest, the fantastic iOS and Steam game. Um, and then Ben Thompson, uh, of, uh, he's the art director, he did stuff on Magic the Gathering uh, and, and other stuff, I'm sure. Um, so they're very cool and accomplished individuals and obviously you know, their time on Team 5, on the Hearthstone team, we've had some amazing expansions. Oh, that's why all the teams have a number now, right? They do. So, well, they've always had numbers, but, but it used to be like Team 1, 2 and 3, because oh, Blizzard okay. was like, you know, unlike Valve, they can count to three, but they couldn't count more than three. And then Hearthstone, I think Hearthstone actually changed the mold. I think that's the thing. It's like a numbers-based card game, right? It's not numbers-based, is it? It's, it's, it's Heart of the Cards. It's all about oh. RNG, which is random is that your place numerals. Style? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, definitely. I just, just play it and hope. Yeah. But if we show the room sort of thing, yeah, this one here, like, there's all taverny stuff there, uh, loads of things happening, but what we are here today to do is the world's best innkeeper impressions. Now, obviously, I'm a Chris with Vets. People know. <laughs> You know, I'm very good at the Hearthstone innkeeper. Shin, on the other hand, give us, give us a, give us the innkeeper. Oh, oh, oh. gorgeous, legendary! That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, that's, uh, I wasn't expecting that. My, my thing that annoys me at the moment. I want to ask the devs this as well. I feel like the innkeeper is a little bit sarcastic. Mm. Okay, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll load it up, and when you load it up, he'll say something. You know, like, oh, warm your frozen boots by the fire and stuff like that. Only now, one of his lines is. Um, and this is this is made worse by the fact that you've got to imagine when I'm playing Hearthstone at home, I'm probably on the toilet, on my phone, uh, and it's probably I'm probably covered in baby vomit. And uh, it'd be like, it'd be like two in the morning, yeah. not from staying up late, but from getting up early. And it'd be like, Whoa! the life of the party. <laughs> and I'd be like, fuck off, innkeeper, come on, come uh, on. It's not, you know, not anyway. So we're going to play some of the new stuff here today. There's a new brawl. It's a fireside gathering. So there's loads of like tablets and stuff set up. They can't see it, it's so dark. Um, but, but they can see this though, isn't it? They can see this beautiful key art there. Uh, it's not done by Matt Dixon, so obviously I'm not that impressed. Uh, oh, I only, oh, I'm only impressed by Matt Dixon. He's a fanboy. That's how it is. Uh, and personal friend Matt Dixon. That's how I introduce myself. I say I'm, I'm one of Matt's friends. Matt Dixon, oh, the past name artist. Yeah, I call him Matt. What do you call him? Mr. Dixon. <laughs> or Dix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Curry's Digital. <laughs> um, hello, uh, welcome to the tavern. We're inside uh, the tavern. That's what's that? Is that this? Tap dancing, line dancing upstairs. That's one of the dragons. dragons. Catacombs. There we go. Uh, we are joined today uh, by Ben Thompson, art director on Hearthstone, and Peter Whalen, game designer on Hearthstone, and Shin, uh, who's uh, you play Hearthstone every now and again. Every yes, now and yes. then, he's okay, badly. And and me, uh, I've I've actually funded Hearthstone independently <laughs> through my own purchases. Um, so today uh, we wanted to talk about making cards, um, and to help us, we've made some blank cards. So I'll show some pictures of these later, but we've got, this is you, Shin. This is me. Apparently, you're wearing a Hearthstone nice. hat. Just like you. Uh, this is me. Uh, there we go. I am a smiling, mace-wielding maniac. I think that, I'm oh, not nice. sure, again, from an art perspective, obviously this wasn't drawn by me, this is Looks a professional like a artist. But a paladin, yeah. I'll go with that. Because they're bastions of a light. Nice paladin. I like playing paladin, you know. So that, that's good. And then we've got kind of like a buddy cop style, both of us. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, nice. so, so this is this is good. So I don't know, maybe that's a spell. Maybe, maybe. that's a minion that summons both minions. Again, this is more your domain. <laughs> I don't want to step on your toes here. Uh, but basically what we were hoping is to talk about making cards. Sure. So you've made 135 collectible cards for Cobbles and Catacombs, yeah? Yep, yep. That's a lot of cards. Indeed. And that's then on top of that, you've got tokens from those. I mean, spell stones, for example, you've got three variants. Mm -hmm. yep. So do you, do you know how, any idea in terms of how many drawings and art there is, you know, in this set or in an average set? 
average set would be hovering around 135. With tokens, it's hard to say. You also have to consider, too, that there's the new added mission component. It's a whole other subset of cards there that won't even see the standard player, the collectible set that are inherent only in the dungeon run itself. So it makes for a lot of cards. Maybe more cards in Cobalt and Catacombs art-wise than any other one before it. Wow, it's around so, 175, maybe maybe really? 180. Something like number guy, art guy. That's <laughs> cool. I like it. So uh, obviously, if you're short on cards, you know these are pretty much pre-made. So I, well, that's that's great. obviously Good to know. they don't have stats. So we would like to figure out how stats work. Sure. So obviously, I know four mana seven seven makes sense. Right. Six mana four four. I yeah, exactly. Or well, like now there's a what was it four mana twelve twelve in the the new uh, ambush sounds, summon a load of dudes. I that sounds pretty good. Twelve twelve. Yeah, exactly. Too. Well, again, <laughs> how does it work? What is what is what is an attack in terms of mana? Like how much is an attack worth? Well, so usually minions get basically attack equal to their cost, and then health is cost plus one. So you get something like double plus one of your cost and total stats that you can distribute. So Yeti's a good example. It's a four mana four five. That's sort of about right. Uh, Bloodfen Raptors a two mana three two. So if you're just a vanilla minion, so you have no text box, then that's around what you get. And so there's other reasons that you might have more points or fewer points. Maybe you have some kind of drawback like Overload two, in which case you get some extra you get some extra stat points as a result. Uh, there's other things. Maybe you have a powerful ability. Maybe you do something cool. So maybe you end up being a ten mana seven five, for example, if you had a really crazy battle cry. And, and, and is that just kind of playtesting and kind of gut feel in terms of like battle cries and death rattles in terms of we think this effect is really strong, thusly we're gonna, it's gonna cost a couple more? Or is it, do you, you know, is there any kind of metric in terms of swing or something? That... Yeah, so generally a mana is worth basically plus one plus one if you're gonna shift things up and down. And so we've got other effects that we have a reasonable sense as to what it's worth. So, you know, divine shield is worth around a mana, give or take. Um, Taunt is worth less than a mana. It's maybe worth half a mana, something like that. You see, Sengen Shieldmaster is a 3-5 taunt for four mana. So that's that lost one stat point, so it's around half a mana. You, you spend about half a mana for the taunt. Uh, different effects, pretty hard to tell sometimes. Uh, you know, draw a card on a minion is worth about a mana and a half. So there's all these different versions of it, and you kind of have to figure out what the base effect is worth and if there's conditions on it. So like if you're holding a dragon, how much how much bonus do you get out of that? And so we've kind of pieced all those things together and that gives us where we start in initial design. And we'll put stats on it and we'll send it to final design and then they'll play a bunch of games and they'll figure out, well, this card's really fun. We're gonna give it a little bit extra somewhere so that it sees more play. Or this card promotes a really cool deck, or this is a really interesting card, we're not even sure if the deck exists yet, but let's make it a little bit more powerful than normal so that you know people can take advantage of it. And so, or you know, the flip side of that, this card's not that fun to play against. We don't want this card to show up all the time. We can shave some stats or add a little bit to the cost to make sure it's, it's in the right spot. Uh, build around cards, cards that encourage you to do something that's different so they won't show up in every deck. Things that are more narrow tend to get bonus points as a result. So if you're holding a dragon, you can get some kind of bonus. Uh, those tend to be on the more powerful side because you know, they're, you're not going to see them in every single deck. We don't want to make cards that are Dr. Boom, so they're neutral and they go in every deck. We don't even want to make cards, certainly not for every card, that are, this goes in every warrior deck forever. Mm. That's it's pretty dangerous, and it makes it so that the metagame is a little bit less diverse. We'd rather have cards that are at least in general, more narrow than that. So Gather Your Party from the new set is a good example. Recruit a minion is great if your deck is built around it and not that good if your deck's not built around it. So those types of cards we give a little bit of bonus to. And the types of cards that are just, oh, this goes in any warrior deck, it's not very narrow. You play it in anger, you play it in midrange, you play it in control, you play it in combo. Those types of cards tend to be a little bit weaker. So with, um, with Recruit, for example, we don't get back to cries because they're bought straight onto the board. Is that correct? Yeah. Sometimes that's upside. Sometimes it's downside. I, I guess. So. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, do you guys design cards to be bad so that, for example, with a I don't know, like a ship disaster or something like that, like or like a, 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 a rock gut, you know, suddenly it's like, oh, I got a legend. Uh, it's a bad one. Like, is that a, is that a conscious thing or are cards just cards? Not really. We tend to make each card work on its own and work in the context of the set less than, oh, this is only good or only bad if you 
get generated randomly. Uh, generating things randomly is interesting because it means you can see cards in situations where they where they can shine. Especially things like Discover, you're going to pick a card that you might not have put in your deck normally because right now, today, it's amazing. We see that with Hydrologist is a great example of, I don't put a lot of Paladin Secrets in my decks, but man, sometimes I for an eye is the right card. Yeah, yeah. And it sees a lot of play, actually, Hydrologist. Yeah, Hydrologist and eye for an eye as a result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a great one. I think the, the, the best thing then to do is let's let's hand these out like you guys... Oh, yeah. Uh, where's where's Shin? Oh, oh, you've no, got your voice, is it? Right, let's give let's give Ben you got <laughs> Shin. Uh, Shin, you can have this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a blank one. Oh, I, nice. might, I might take some art direction in a second and try and <laughs> see what I can draw. I've got sharpies. Oh. So obviously at the moment these are black and white. We do have coloured sharpies. If you do want to colour one in, half the <laughs> colourful colourful game, uh, you can do that. You don't have to. Um, so like, what can we do? How can we make these cards? I want to make a card today. Actually, so. a question I have is that we've got the artwork here before we've made the card, but mm. are there any cards that you've done the artwork for and then you've made the card, or is it mostly make the card, then make the art for the card? It's pretty close to, ha I would say half and half, but it certainly happens quite a bit where the art and the card kind of mix and match, honestly. Sometimes uh, when the art descriptions go out to the artist, they're very vague and very general, and a lot of those tend to happen on, as Peter pointed out, the blank cards. Ones that don't have a lot of text in here, if any at all, they aren't really keyword heavy. They're really just meant to be a card that's a vibe card for the set. They're, you know, a random um, acolyte or something from Old Gods. Or uh, for the um, Journey to Ngoro, you might get something that's a little bit more just kind of an indigenous race around there. Tortolans sometimes showed up and just were a Tortolan. Other times they came with Taunt and all this other stuff as well. Um, but it really just depends on how much onus is put on the card art having to really kind of do a lot of the communication versus how much of that card's pretty self-explanatory when it comes in. Cool. Okay. Let's, let's, do you want to grab a pen? I'll give you yeah. one a pen as well. Oh, nice. So we can we can invent any stats or anything. Yeah. Well, I, I'd like them to be <laughs> canon, even okay. though they're not. You know, like I'd like them to be, to, to see play. So okay. <laughs> I don't know what, what we're going to go with. So if we, I mean, for me, I think I'm a, I'm a kind of mid-range kind of card okay. sort of thing. So probably around about six mana. Um, okay. I don't know what else past that. What does that picture say to you? When you look at that, what kind of mana cost do you think in that man's worth? What's his, mm, look what's at his that. worth in magic? Very smiley, uh, very so happy. I guess here's my question. The question I asked to the some, uh, designer who was working on this card is, what's the story that you want to tell with this? Are there... So with this, I think I've just found a, a, a large paladin mace on the floor, okay. and I finally feel like I've found my calling in life. I picked it up, I'm very excited, I'm very inexperienced, but I, you know, I'm hoping with great hearts can come great success. It's like a peasant's kind of powerful weapon. Yes. So like, a, like a low health but high attack. Maybe, Ooh, maybe, okay. I like that, like that. that's, that's interesting. Cool. Maybe like an injured blade master sort of, I don't really know what I'm doing, so maybe I, I do a bit of damage to myself. But then yeah. maybe I didn't have much to begin with, so I don't want to be like you play me and I instantly die, because uh, that would be like when I play Hearthstone. You know, I start a game up and, and I, I'm just going to die. Um, but I don't know. We could we could do something around that. That could work. It's pretty interesting. So one of the things that you mentioned in your uh, you talked to just about a little bit about these cards was that you like making people laugh. That you like uh, encouraging people. Yes. Uh, so. This it might not be sort of a normal Hearthstone card, but one of the things I was thinking about in that direction was that you could cost less for each time your opponent has emoted this game. Oh! That if you can... That would be amazing, because it's like an anti-BM meta sort of, you know, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're like, well played! And I'm like, haha, yes, yeah, say it again, mate. There we go, zero mana. <laughs> but what if he's been genuine? What if he's been making some really good plays and he's complimenting you and that's Well, then that's him. great, right? You, if you're playing a silly deck and they're like, oh, wow, that's awesome, then... You know, They're now feeding, it's a builder round. Now right? it's a beast. Better. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, I like that. That's an amazing mechanic. It's great. It's kind of fun. So I was thinking if we're going to do that, we found that free minions around 4-4 four is kind of the sweet spot, where it's big enough that you feel good for getting it out there, but it's not so big that it really like completely swings the game. And so I was thinking it's more around 4-4, four four, but... If you want to be some higher attack, because you've got the sweet mace. It's a big mace as well. It's, it's, cool. it's, it's, it's as big as my head. And I've got a big head. Maybe so that's like a like double five, whammy. three, somewhere like that. I would take the help hit. I think that's going to be worthwhile. Right. So let's try it. Right on. Let's in. make it. All it's right. going to be permanent now. We're going to we're going to go for this. All right. You're going to be a five three. Five three. Wow. Since this. you're going to get some cost reduction, so a five three usually costs around four mana, give or take three and a half mana. 
So let's start you costing. Let's start you costing at five. So okay. if you if you get your opponent to emote twice, it's a pretty that's good a deal. Good, that's good. That's like a great a magma greeting. I only need oh, one really. Let's great. Be honest. Yeah, sure. This is this is already shaping up. I think this would see a lot of play. Yeah, I think maybe. this could be a, an arena pick. They are legendaries, but they don't have that's to okay. be legendaries. That's just what we could find. Uh, but you know, I think <laughs> legendary. I'll, I'll, I'll take a legendary with that. I'm happy. I'm happy for that sort of thing. Yeah, that's good. Chin, have you after this, after Peter's sort of description, mm -hmm. what are you feeling for the, the double whammy card? Well, again, like you've got the mace here, and and you say mighty weapon. I'm I'm more seeing like tree branch and breeze block. Yeah, it's um, a mighty weapon. <laughs> but my sword is pretty cool. Um, now, I like the idea of having like um, like a is it Thaddeus kind of effect of just like two characters become yeah. one. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So like really the buddy cup vibe. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Good so, cop, bad cop. There you so got the name. he's the comedian. What does that mean? He's the, the what are you? Are you the, are you <laughs> the straight man? If just, we're going to do the buddy cop thing, that's, I there's like a bit it. of a give yeah. and a take here. There's a Mutt and Jeff, you know, a Abbott and Costello thing. Oh, I like it. But he's already got like kind of quite good attack. Maybe, mm. maybe I can just be like the downside. See the straight so, inverse of that, maybe. Could be a three five. Yeah, that's maybe. pretty cool. There's a four Something minute, a five minute, out. three five. You get him some pretty good, it's pretty good effect then. Does he get some lowering ability on his mana? Maybe you're just only maybe totally increases. Uh, maybe he starts <laughs> off at like two, but every time they oh, emote, a... it goes up by one. Could just be your opponent can't emote. Oh, so you don't want us in the same deck. <laughs> <laughs> don't play good together. That's the problem. There goes that buddy then, cop. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna not want to play me. Definitely want to play him. But combined, it's a good mix. Like you have a downside. You got to get them both out on oh, the board. So yeah. what you said, this is going to summon us both. Yeah. What, Which what if you make them work well together? What if yeah. it's instead each player's emotes are replaced by random emotes or by mm. seasonal emotes or something? That would be amazing because Happy Feast of Winter Vale is obviously the the best for right. any BM ever. Yeah. Like when you're winning, it's Happy Feast of Winter Vale. <laughs> like, and if your nothing emotes sweeter. are uh, replaced, yeah. then they're going to spam them. Yeah, of, of course, course right? So it's going to get this one. Well. Right. I love and you it. cost five, there's one, yeah. I love it. Okay, so That's he good. changes your emotes. He changes both players' emotes. Okay, I like that. I'm, I'm three five. Four. Look at this. Ben staying on brand, this is gonna be. Oh, oh wow. It's gonna be like lifted straight from the game's typeset. This is good. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna offer these up for charity afterwards. So <laughs> during December we do our jingle jam, our, our month long charity drive. So if you are enjoying this and you would like to run away with one of these, then watch through December. We'll be playing some Hearthstone, and you'll be able to win one of these cards signed by me, and <laughs> the other guys might do it as well. But yeah, you know, I just want to make sure people are entering first. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw one while we do this. Oh nice. So so Ben, having seen the theme. What do you think? What would be a, a good additional uh, thing? It's going to be a counter to something. Maybe it's a counter to all of this. This is the oh. kind of card he hopes he has in his deck if you're I going like to be playing this. this. I like this. So it's got to be some kind of creature that embodies bad manners. Okay. There's no emoting. Like emoting okay. isn't even a thing with this. Okay. It's got. To, I don't know what it does with your emotes. There's so, definitely some kind of spirit of bad play here. Okay, I like that spirit of bad play. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run. What with was that. Uh, Max McCall's credits card? Was it something like your oh, emotes man. can't be silenced and have no cooldown? Oh, <laughs> oh that'd be amazing. No squelch. That'd be good. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna do it. It's cost. It's a spooky uh, ghost. He can be cheaper. Let's make him cost four. Four. It's good. I get to do another number two in a different fight type thing. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. Meanwhile, this is good. I uh, graduated from the uh, Dream Quest School of Art. Oh, nice. So you might recognize this as a minion. There you go. That's uh, high quality. Sure, yeah, that yeah, looks great. Yeah. <laughs> See, Ted has always secretly dreamed of being an artist for Hearthstone. That's this it. Is this is game. it. This is me living out the dream right now. So, this is going to, we're going to call this Squelch. Uh, I must spell this Squelch. Spelled like that. That's a new way of spelling it. Squelch. The. Ghost, uh, and it's uh, what we silence uh, silence all emotes. Is that what it is? Oh no, can't be it. Can't be silence. Can't be either silenced. way. Uh, silence all emotes means that these guys don't work that well. But it's true. Maybe these guys are the counter for this guy. This maybe guy that. is emotes can't be silenced, and 
So this sure. one could be either way. you to spam emotes, but they discourage you from spamming emotes. I yeah. like it. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay. Look at this. And what do we think this is worth? What would this be? Uh, what, the artwork or the card? <laughs> <laughs> the mana cost at the moment, but obviously the card is priceless, I know that. It's a work of art. Well, there's no, there's no attack or. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what we've got to figure out. What, what yeah. do you think? Yeah. Is this a one-one? Is this a, is this a one mana one-one? Because it's a powerful effect. Powerful effect. This, this could swing a whole game. Suddenly you're there. Turn nine. This comes out. You've got nothing in your hand. All of a sudden, boom! One mana one-one. It does feel like an aggro card yeah. to me. So maybe something like one mana two-one. Okay. Okay. I, I can get on board with that. One mana two-one. Ah. Scratch the ghost. That's how you spell it. <laughs> uh, the moats can't be signed. So there we go. We'll show that one later. But I think that's fantastic. So we've already built part of an expansion. So when you yeah. play this, you make a statement. You turn one, bam. Turn one, boom. Spot the ghost, Firstly, and then you start spamming moats. you hope they're not a ping class, because that's going to not do that well. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I haven't given it a tribe yet. I'm going to give it undead, because it's a ghost. So does... Uh, just try to think it's what undead play well in Frozen Throne. Oh, yes. Yeah, we could do, we could this is maybe an expansion too late <laughs> see we have to wait well, till it's next coming time into its around. own now right we designed for mature past exactly. but we also designed for the set yet to come because obviously in. was it in the new year we're going to get a new year of the yeah. something or other and so we lose what do we we lose we lose old gods yep we're supposedly old gods one night in karazhan and main streets again Mean streets as well yep. it's going to be that's this I think we've opened up a lot of space. It's going to tie it that together. That makes sense, so yeah. It's going to do really well. It's going to tie the whole set together. This is just exactly that. <laughs> it's like the dude's rug. It's just, it really tied the set together. So, Shiv, what, you haven't you haven't come up with anything on yours now? No, no, I'm still kind of um, trying to map this out in my head. Because we've got okay, hands, right, I'm going to name but... this. Okay, so it's going to be Turps. And then I need like a title. The Sonorous? Could be, could be. I'm just trying. Well, maybe that works because of the battle cries. We'll go with that. There we go. Terps of Sonorous. Okay. And then, what was my card text? Uh, yeah, wasn't it? Was it battle? Is it battle cry? No, no. Uh, cost one just, less. Yeah, I think we should do cost one less for each time your opponents emoted this game. Uh, right. Uh, one less for each. The thing is, is what you'll find is if you wrote pass them cards by hand as you get to the end and suddenly the text would be a lot smaller than what you started with, but that's good. Uh, for each time your opponent emoted this game. And okay. now we'll get it to fit. Yes. You write oh. small enough. Yep. <laughs> game. <laughs> there we go. Nice. That's perfect there. So We'll show that off again later. That's brilliant. So That's look, we've already got two cards. I was, I didn't think we'd get one done in this time, and already we've got two. Shin, what are you? So I was um... Shin, uh, the uh, well, Carnivus. he named you, so uh, Shin the Smelly. Wow. That's, that's really kind. <laughs> wow, we went from sonorous to smelly. It's okay, yeah, you still have to do any stuff. You've got to do the here, exactly. So. You haven't done any of this. Shin the smelly. And what happens with you? Um, I don't remember what we said. We said the squelch thing. <laughs> you uh, took that I took the that. Ghost. So what are you? Um, I think it was like each player's emotes are random. Oh, that was it. Okay, I love this. Yeah. Okay. Changes all emotes in the game. Each right. player's yeah. Each player's emotes in the game are now random. And they can be like talk like a pirate emotes sure. or. This is pretty cool. And people I love it. random effects. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, RNG. And they love emoting. There we go. Boom. There we go. We've got three cards and we've just got one left. With that said, I feel like we should have a super upside to this. And what okay. is even better than winning a game? Emoting a lot? I think it's taking someone's gold when we do. Oh, oh wow. win your opponents three gold, you know, ten gold, three wins or whatever. I don't know. What would you. Every, or you want to literally just take it out of their pocket. Just every any, game you win. Any cards destroy or any any minions killed this game are immediately gusted. Oh, 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 a wow. zero mana guaranteed to be in your opening hand. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's that's a, cruel. Just as a quest. Hardcore. <laughs> so, I mean wow, what I mean I think that would that would be amazing. Minion. That's awesome. Minion. 
I still like that. I mean, right? he gets the yeah, dust, sure. right? So I mean, exactly, they're going to get the dust back. So no I mean, real yeah. I mean, if you if it dusted it at uh, at like full value, like it had been, you know, of nursed, course, let's give them. Then that. that's fine. You get, sure. you know, you're just you're making Always them go value. back to the collection manager. Maybe that means people play suboptimal cards they've unpacked because they're like, oh, I hope I go up against whatever this is called, because <laughs> then I can get full dust value. That's the that's the dream right there. Holy moly. Well, and you get to you get to be the spirit of vengeance too. Were you a good player? Did I enjoy playing? And maybe I won't play this card. Ooh, maybe I'm and, okay with that. And even then, obviously, it's any minion. So our whole deck could be dusted, depending on how oh, badly we, we did. Did we put any? Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, any minion killed by this creature? I see. Okay. Oh, I like so that. Okay. That's good. better. Okay. With, with the flavor text. Sure. Lol. Well, now you know the health can't be one, right? So, so he's, oh, that's a good point, yeah, because we're going to want some value. You're going to get a little so bit of killing So what would out. this be? With that effect on there, it's quite a potent effect. Yeah. Seems like 8 mana 8 8 is one of that. Oh, oh yes, yes. I like Maybe that. Maybe 8 mana 6 10 so that you can get some more use oh, out more of it. Oh, more trades. 8 mana, do you want to do my neck? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to wonder, how do we get Elite Speak for LOL in numbers? Oh, so, oh, oh so you're saying it should have been a 4 mana 7 7. Oh, yeah, way too fast. It's all right. We could have, yeah, but that would have made you yeah, that, all like eights. One, oh yeah, just do all eights. All eights. All eights. All right. Like a slot machine. No, nah, sevens. Oh well. So there we works. go. We haven't got even a name. What's the name? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, G G. There you go. G G. G E E dash G E E. Yeah. That's the that's our real names. And that way when they call you Gigi, you Gigi, just smile yeah, yeah. And... You just say, I need healing. <laughs> You got a better name. You can go for a different. You can cross it out. This is Hearthstone. It's fine. It's an ever-evolving digital card game. Nothing's fixed. Oh, this might in playtesting. We might put these into playtesting and discover. You know what? That needs to be a four mana eight eight. Yeah, you know, I think these all so, go straight to Hall of Fame at this point. Yeah, I think so <laughs> for a great reason because they are obviously just. We just want to keep so these amazing. as something to really be honoured. Uh, you know, people want Tavern Brawl. I could see I it. I could see it already. See it. A tavern, you could have. I can, you could have a guest Tavern Brawl every now and then. We come yeah. in. We arrange a tavern brawl. I like that. I can see that. I think maybe a fireside gathering brawl. So yeah, there we go. I'll show that off. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is. That's awesome. That's phenomenal. Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thank, thank you, you well, for all the amazing uh, mammoth entertainment we've had over the past year. Well, thank you for playing. Um, it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I cannot wait. I think the the dungeons are probably yeah the, the dungeon runs. I'm so excited. Right. It's, yeah. it's one of those things where I think I've always been frustrated with um, kind of adventure modes in the past when a wing is gated behind a week, and so it's like, oh cool, I've done it. And uh, now I've got to wait. You know, whereas now it's all there and it's just down to my skill level. So I've got no excuses. I can't just be <laughs> complaining about time anymore. It's literally going to be me trying again and again and again. But I will get that card back. Also Arena as well. I love Arena, but I'm terrible at it. I could get like two, three games out of it and then I'm done. Then I'm done. Two, three wins. But um, yeah, just the idea of just being able to hammer dungeon runs and just not get phased by people being too good. No, I'm really looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, well, thank you very much, guys. You guys thank really you, guys. Appreciate it. Good luck. Bye-bye. Cool.